Over the last few days and weeks, a particular AI model has quietly taken the world by storm. At first, it was known only by the code name Nano Banana. There was a lot of speculation about who was behind it and what it could actually do. And then over time, it became more obvious, with some clues being left behind on social media. And now that it's been made official, we know what it is. It's been confirmed as Google's Gemini 2.5 Flash image. And this is not just another addition to the AI toolbox. As the benchmarks and user preferences show, it's a significant upgrade on what we already have. The kind that begins to open up new use cases and capabilities, both for casual users and even for professionals. Gemini 2.5 Flash Image is Google's newest model for generating and editing images. It's available through the Gemini app, Google's AI Studio, and Vertex AI. What sets it apart is that it's designed first and foremost as an editing model. So rather than just spitting out a picture from scratch, even though it can do that too, it excels at taking an existing image or even several images and making very precise, very controlled changes. The most striking improvements is how well it preserves the identity of a subject. In previous models, if you edited a photo several times, changing the hair, the clothes, the background, each iteration would drift further away from the original. Faces in particular would start to look like different people entirely. Gemini 2.5 Flash image is by far the best model we've seen at keeping the subject recognizably the same, even across multiple edits. To really show this in practice, I'll run one of my own photos through a sequence of edits. First, I'll ask it to place me next to a clown smoking a cigar, while keeping my pose and location identical to the original. Then I'll add a realistic looking alien on the other side. After that, I'll switch the time of day to night with a subtle and elegant front light. Next, I'll change the color of my suit to black. And finally, I'll make the ground grassy and add a distant alien spaceship in the sky. What's powerful here is not just the creativity of each edit, but the consistency. With this new model, my likeness remains stable throughout the sequence. By contrast, when I run the exact same prompts through ChatGPT's image model, you notice how quickly the resemblance begins to drift. It's a clear example of why Gemini 2.5 Flash Image is being described as a genuine leap forward in image editing with AI. So what about benchmarks and numbers? On the LM Arena leaderboard for image editing, which is based on direct human preference testing, this model shot straight to number one. The previous leaders sat somewhere in the 1100s in ELO rating, whereas this model comes in at around 1360, which isn't just a small step forward, it's a pretty big gap. And that margin is especially telling because the benchmark it excels at is image editing, which has historically been the weak point of AI models. It's also shot to the top of normal text to image generation too. So what does this mean for creatives? The implications are quite far reaching. For casual users, it's almost like a conversational version of Photoshop. You don't need to know how to use the complex software. You can simply describe what you want, put me in front of the Eiffel Tower, make the jacket red, and the change just happens. For professionals, this means faster mock-ups, quicker iterations, and a way to keep subjects consistent across campaigns without repeated reshoots. For social media creators, it opens the door to endless variation while keeping your personal identity intact. And for designers, it can dramatically speed up the concepting work. Of course, the model isn't flawless, and for high fidelity results, professionals will still be needed for now, but what's noticeable is the rapid pace at which these things are improving. With this model in particular, it may be good enough for the majority of casual cases, which is the first time I can truly say that about an image generation model. Of course, what about new risks? The ability to make near-perfect identity-preserving edits also makes deepfakes and misinformation much more convincing. Until now, most AI images had tells, small details that gave away their artificial nature. But the margin of error is shrinking, so how do we maintain trust in images? Well, one of them is Google has introduced one safeguard. Every output is embedded with an invisible digital watermark called Synth ID. It's designed so that even if you compress or lightly edit an image, the watermark remains detectable by Google's tools. 
It's not foolproof. Determined attackers can weaken or strip watermarks, but it adds an important layer of accountability as AI images spread more widely. So what about the big picture? Where this is heading is fairly clear. Image generation is no longer about creating something from scratch and hoping it turns out well. It's becoming about control, being able to edit with precision, to preserve identity, and to treat AI as a natural extension of human creativity. But for many people, this will be the first real AI alternative to software like Photoshop. It definitely won't replace every professional workflow just yet, but for a huge proportion of users, it effectively lowers the barrier to entry. And looking ahead, this direction points towards video, the ability to make consistent, identity-preserving edits across moving frames is the next logical step. Once that arrives, the line between generated and recorded content will blur even further. And you can even pass the results of this model into Google's video model called VO3 to create pretty impressive results there too. So Gemini 2.5 Flash Image, or Nano Banana, as it was once called, isn't just the top of the leaderboard. It's a clear sign of where AI is moving towards creativity that is more precise, more personal, and more accessible. When OpenAI released their image generation model, everyone started creating animated versions of themselves in the style of Studio Ghibli and their friends. But now you can do something similar with lifelike results. If you want to keep up with all of the latest AI news and breakthroughs, then feel free to subscribe to my AI newsletter, which is completely free and the link is in the description. If you enjoy this content though, I'd really appreciate if you could like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.